Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. Just recently somebody asked me about the corn. I thought, hey, I'll do an update on the corn. This field is the most sporadic field I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if it's because we did the cover crop in the corn or what, but it's very strange. I had uniform emergence. That means it all came up good and uniform. And now I've got the most sporadic thing going on I've ever seen. I've got corn here with big ears right next to corn that has no ears, no tassel. This one right here was planted at the same time, the exact same seed, pitiful. <laughs> so one thing they say, emergence is very key to getting a uniform yield or getting the most yield. This here, it seems very strange that they're not uniform. And before this video's out, I'm gonna take you over and show you some fields of mine that are very uniform, that are beautiful. This is all gonna be chopped for silage. It doesn't really matter if it's all perfect, you know, and all that good stuff. It's all gonna be ground up into silage and fed. That's the way to get the most food value for what we're growing here. And the main purpose for this field this year, the, the corn yield, was secondary in my opinion because I really want to get the nitrogen level boosted for next year's crop. Next year I'm gonna have corn here. If everything works out good, that'll make this look like trash. But for this year, this is what I've got going. So I'm gonna show you a couple clips right now. Look here, the sporadicness of this corn is just mind boggling. I've never seen anything like it. I can't believe I just can't believe it. So anyway, let's go over and see the other fields that I've got going right now and see how much better they are. I haven't looked at them since the storm. They may be on the ground. I don't know. This corn over here on this side of the property just continues to blow my mind, especially with the fact that I didn't fertilize it with any chemical fertilizer. It was just strictly crimson clover planted here in the fall that I I mowed it down and plowed it under. When you terminate it at the blooming stage, at the peak of the bloom, it pours the nitrogen to it. It's just unbelievable. But it's so uniform. Everything is putting on ears, tasseled really good. It's around uh, nine to 10 feet tall on average. So it's not the tallest that I've ever grown, but it's, it's really good. We had super dry, weather there for a while so i'm just happy to have a crop period this is the corn that i cross pollinated last year with the yellow and the white so we'll see what we get hoping to save some seed from it i don't know if it will really be any good to save or not but we'll find out anyway let's go look at the corn over yonder that i had to throw fertilizer i had to put 20 bags of triple 19 on it just to save it so let's take a look at all that. right here is the pure Guatemalan yellow corn. And as you can see, this stuff, right here is where the ear is gonna come out. This stuff is tall and still gonna go taller. So you could say the triple 19 was a success. I am going, <laughs> I'm gonna come back over here and give you another update one of these days here in the next couple weeks. And I'm gonna bring a ladder and a tape measure because I've got some here that need to be measured. They are so, incredibly tall this is pretty exciting i'm going to be harvesting a lot of this for silage but i'm going to leave quite a bit of this for seed as well and this is my hunting location my deer blind is right behind you 16 feet up is where the floor is on it i bring my boys over here to hunt i'm considering leaving this whole front here as a screen to the field so that we can approach and get in our blind without being seen. So that'll be interesting. And all of that will be harvested for ear corn, which will be made for cornbread, for seed corn, stuff like that. So I probably won't be feeding much of my corn to the pigs this year because in the past I've just discovered they go through it. I mean, it's gone like that and that I don't have, I don't have enough for myself. So anyway, this is gonna make some incredible silage. This stuff is tall. So I'm six foot tall and this stuff makes me feel like an absolute midget. Some of these stalks like this one right here, it's got to be, it's got to be 13 foot tall anyway. We'll see, I'm gonna actually put a tape measure on it. So anyway, I have to say, I'm glad I come over here to do this video because that allowed me to look at this wonderful crop. It is really, 
really doing good. I am a happy camper. I am particularly amazed. I'm gonna climb up in the ladder of my tree stand and show you how it looks from the top right here. It's beautiful. One of the things I do like about this corn is the coloration of these silks are just gorgeous. I love the color of these silks. And uh, a lot of times they'll put on two to three full size ears, which really makes for good it, it makes a good yield, but it also makes really good silage, which our cows will eat with great, great satisfaction all winter long. So, we got a lot of stuff we got to do today, so I got to keep it rolling. But it's been a pleasure bringing you this video to show you how the corn crop is doing. We're going to get out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.